What's up, everyone? It's Justin, your favorite magical spiritual Negro. And this is going to be a little bit different of a video. It's going to sound kind of conspiratorial, but it's not. So, there is a problem that you and I have. And so does your neighbor. So does everyone that you've ever known. We all have the same problem. It is that our behavior based upon the context of our environment and what we're putting into our ears and eyes is predictable. We as individuals are not predictable, but our behavior based upon the context of where we are, what we're listening to, what we're hearing, all that stuff, is predictable. Which means that we easily manipulable, malleable. We can be manipulated very, very easily based upon that. And the media, news, I don't know, advertisers, marketers, they all know that. You're thinking that your, that your decisions that you're making are all actually yours and not the scheme and I'm not saying scheme is in Wiley scheme necessarily and not the scheme of some marketer trying to get you to buy something or try this or invest into this or whatever else you know so these ideas marketplace of ideas are then practiced like guinea pigs, on you, on me, on all of us. Why? Because people know with certain degrees, certain intelligences, certain circles know that people are predictable, okay, based on their habits, okay? So then, it is now a question of stepping in or out of the matrix, right? It's the blue pill, red pill type of moment, right? Now, red pill usually means that you've turned conservative. I'm not talking about that kind of stuff, right? Because I try to think objectively, based on the kingdom, not on the conservation of man-made stuff. Because the conservative party will, the Republican party will vanish one day. Just like it did with the Whigs and these other parties, or the Dixiecrats or whatever else. That stuff shifts all the time kingdom is forever. Anyway, so if you're thinking about stepping out of the matrix, then there may be some things holding you back. But stepping out, stepping out of the matrix truly is stepping into the kingdom and upholding that. It's got nothing to do with all these other things that are happening around us because I'm going to let you know this right now. They have so much data on you right now. Me, you, and all of us. They have so much data on us right now. And the more data that they have, the easier they can do this. They can make you do, based off of your search habits, and put ads in front of you or whatever else that they want to do. If they really want to be super duper evil, they could do it. You know? And manipulate you to doing whatever and you will think that it's free will the only way to get out of that is for you to unplug from the world and plug into the kingdom because in the kingdom there's no news there's only the word so if God said it it's going to be done so therefore map your life out and map your generations out alongside with the word of God. But what he has said is going to happen. That's what you do. There is no news. Mankind is predictable. Mankind is going to go towards the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. That's all they're going to do. Right? This is why ever since you got out of high school... You think that you're still in high school. <laughs> Everything's like 
in high school all the time. It's amazing. Every place you've ever worked, every politicians even say that's like high school. Why? Lusty eyes, lust of the flesh, pride of life. So they can't even be malleable. They can't even disagree with one another. Why? Because if I sit there and give you facts about something, and then I say that, well, man, he's actually right. But I can't back down because my ego won't let me. And then I try to sit there and sell you this idea because I don't want to back down from my ego because I have invested all this time, energy, and money into proving that I'm right, even though I know I'm wrong, so I'm going to double down. Why would you want to be governed by that? This is why don't trust in mankind. Too much ego, too much pride, too much lust, for all that stuff. You want to put your trust and faith in the kingdom. That will always stand. Everything will burn away. The word of God will stand. So there ain't no news. <laughs> the, the Bible already figured out mankind a long time ago. That's it. So then, plugging into the kingdom pulls you out of all that struggle and puts you into purpose. Eternal purpose. Purpose that's going to move you and your family and your generations and the people around you forward. The, the long game. God specializes in the long game. We see the all throughout scripture. The short game Oftentimes, it's about our ego, our pride, our lust, all that kind of stuff that gets us in trouble. You know, the Joker in Batman always says this. One bad day. That's all it takes for you to go from where I was to where I am now. Just one bad day. Mess the whole thing up. You know? I have a co-worker. He's talking about how One bad day, one bad injury. He got injured during an accident. And he had a sports career, and that messed all that up. And he said he was mad at the world for a long time. 20-some-odd years before he got his stuff together. One bad day. Just one bad day. You know? But the kingdom is forever. See, 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 the long game... Is always where we want to be at. The short game is just like, oh man, blah, 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 you know, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, you know, and it never lasts because it's short. That's what the enemy specializes in. He presents to you a case to get something now rather than receive it at the appropriate time and season because sometimes you haven't been given it by God because you have not matured enough, enough time has not passed for you to actually mature in order to actually receive it. This is why you don't give, you know, certain things to children because they're not in the proper season of understanding in order to receive it yet. You don't give a five-year-old alcohol. Now, some of y'all did have alcohol at five years old, but that was out of season. You know, you don't have relations with a lady. You have a bunch of kids, When you're still maturing yourself. And maturing as in taking on responsibilities and understanding the long game. Because some people never, ever, ever mature because they only think short term. And children think short term. Think in the longest term possible in the kingdom. Otherwise, you're going to continue to be manipulated and be some rich guy's pawn for the rest of your life. Just being real. They got so much data on you right now that they can predict what you're going to do next. That's why when you're on YouTube, oh, that video based on what I just watched pops up, and that video pops up, and that video pops up, that video pops up. All they got to do with one day is get you in the right frame of mind and suggest some different videos to you so that you actually lean into this uh, direction or lean into that direction based on what this algorithm is saying and that algorithm is saying. That's all they got to do. The wealthy have been manipulating society for generations and generations and generations. Why do you think it's going to be any different now? 
So step out of that stuff. You know, really step out of that stuff. Invest into the kingdom because only God is going to be your way out. And when you step into that purpose, that long-term eternal purpose, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a whatever. But I promise you, man, worth it. Even through all the struggle, worth it. So I want you all to stay blessed. I want you all to continue to be prayerful. I want you to be asking what that actually is. Some ways you can figure that out, probably one of the better ways. What makes you happy, what makes you sad, what makes you joyful, what makes you mad. You can answer those questions. Then you'll start having a good idea of what's going on with that. And I'll do a teaching on that in the future. What makes you happy, what makes you sad, what makes you joyful, what makes you mad. If you answer those questions, you'll begin to see where it is that you want to fit in in terms of the purposes that God's put in you. That will come from nowhere. That comes from Him. So now it's time to get reacquainted with what that is. All right, guys. Love you all very much. I'll catch you on the remix. Deuces.